Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will be doing a bloom recipe. I haven't done one in a while, so I thought I, I would try it out. Um, so I am using the J Diction High Gloss 1 to 1 Epoxy Resin. You can find that link in my description. I am um, using uh, molds from Molds and Shape to the right. And then on the left, those are just the cheap ones that you get on, on um, Amazon. So nothing special about them. I just needed, I wanted to do four at the same time. I am using the Let's Resin Mixer in case anyone is interested. Now we're just pouring in the resin in the molds. Um, you just, you want to do just literally like a fingernail or so. You don't want to go too deep with it. You want to just do enough to coat the bottom. Uh, it's really important because it helps when you put in the, um, the paste for it to expand and make those petals. Now I'm just using casting craft. I'm putting about three drops or so. And I may have put just a tad bit more than what I was like was what I was wanting. So and this could be the reason why it came out the way it did, and you'll see that at the end. But um not much you could do, just go with it. So here I am just you want to really make sure it's mixed really well, um, scrape the sides and, um, you know, in the bottom. Now I will be using the octopus inks for this bloom. And the first color I'm using is tangerine. And I really, um, I'm sorry, that's not tangerine. I believe that's the sun uh, color. And I really like it because it's a nice, pretty yellowish type color. Um, it looks more orangey yellow in the bottle, but when it comes out, it does look more like the sun. Now, I've noticed at least with the J Diction in Arizona, I do not let my resin get warm. And the reason is, is because I do let the inks just sit in there for a few minutes. Um, and um, I'm a little bit scared of it not coming out right. Usually when I do this technique and if I let it get too warm, it never turns out. I don't know if it's because I live in Arizona, but um, yeah. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is doing the Panada white alcohol ink on top. I thought this would be a cool little add-in. Um, and again, this could be why it turned out the way it did. I'm just going in with that sun color again on top of the Panada white ink. And that's just for the middle. And again, going in with the Panada White ink for another dose of the white alcohol. And lastly, again, with another dose of the sun. And I believe I just did one drop on top of each. So there's two layers. Um, you have the, the sun, the, the white alcohol ink, the sun, white alcohol ink, and then ending with the sun. So there's three of the suns and then just two layers of the Panada alcohol ink. Now I will be adding the color for the petal portion of this. And 
And all my alcohol inks are from Laura's Art Corner. Uh, her link is below in my description if interested in purchasing. Now this is the um, the tangerine color. So I ended up using it for more for the petals than I did for the middle. The middle was the sun. This is the tangerine. And you'll see how the middle starts to really shrink in. I don't know why, but this is so... Like, I love staring at this part. <laughs> it's very relaxing. And don't worry about if you mess up like I do. Um, it really is not that big of a deal. Uh, many artists make little mistakes. So having that extra dot in that lower left hand is not that big of a deal. Um, here I am just adding the extra dot because I really like the richness of the color. And again, by not putting the paste in yet I'm allowing the alcohol inks to move which is so important because if you were to put in that paste too soon and the alcohol inks are not done moving you can end up having a very lopsided bloom so it is important to give it enough time so now I'm going to be going in I believe that was the strawberry or cherry color uh, from Octopus Inks. So it's sort of fall colors is what I chose. So middle is the sun and then you have the tangerine and now we are doing the red. And I just absolutely love these colors. You'll be able to see why it doesn't matter when you make a mistake on a puddle. As you can tell, when I put in this red, it's going to take over that whole mishap right there. And you won't be able to tell at all that I had made a, an error. So just trust the process. Don't freak out if you accidentally make an extra drop somewhere. Um, because the end result is what really matters. Again, I'm going in and doing that extra dot in each of the red petals, just like I did with the tangerine. Um, I really do like the richness of the color and I feel like it just um, helps it. And again, as you can tell, I made an error. So what I decided to do is instead of having that air room my whole piece, now I'm just going to go around and do some extra reds more on the outer skirts just so that it doesn't um, 
stand out. And that's the nice thing about, you know, creating accidents. If you feel like the drop came out too soon or too fast, you're like, oh no, just, um, you know, compromise and figure out. And like what I did, just adding some more of the red drops. So then that way it's all, it's all good. So some of them didn't look like it had enough red on the edges compared to the upper left hand corner where it's really spread out to the edges. So that's what I'm trying to do is just fill it up now to where it looks even on all of them. And again, it, it could be that um, my resin is starting to get warm. I have noticed at least for me when I do these blooms, if my resin starts to get too warm, or starts warming up, then my ink, at least with the octopus inks, they don't spread um, like they should. So with the octopus inks, I have found it's better to start dropping right away. Um, you could still wait a little bit on the um, casting craft, the white paste, but um, here I am just making swirls in the middle. So just sort of helping to swirl the between the sun the alcohol ink and the um, um panada alcohol ink and now i'm just taking um i have these different types of uh toothpicks they're not pointy they're one end has more of a um bigger edge to it so it doesn't uh you know hurt the mold when i'm doing this but this allows me to swirl in the colors so some of them were not moving like i was hoping so this allows me to make sure that the color gets all the way to the edge before adding my casting craft um that way the flowers are you know even all the way around So now that it's been, um, it's been a while since I dropped everything and by me taking my time on those drops and swirling it, I don't have to wait much longer. So now I'm going to pour in the casting craft. I do like pinching that cup so it makes a really nice uh, pointy area. That's me just testing out before I start pouring. I do prefer these paper cups than the piping bags. I don't know if it's just the piping bag that I have, but it's very, uh, I don't know why, but I find it harder. I find this a lot easier. And I don't have to pour it into a bag and waste more, more plastic.
You can make any design that you want. I always just go in circles like this and then I will um, bring in the edges for the shape of the petals. And again, you'll see at the end how these come out. I'm not sure if it's because I had a little bit too much cast and craft in my cup or if it's because I used the Panada's white alcohol ink in the middle. But something changed because instead of this becoming a bloom, it almost looked like stained glass, like little pieces of glass. Um... It, or broken glass. It was very interesting. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go in now and create those puddles and then I will meet you back at the end of the video for the reveal. I'm going to go ahead and start playing some music so that uh, you guys can relax and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And please don't forget to also share. That makes a big difference when it comes to, um, to people being able to view my, um, my videos. I am going to start, um, you know, putting my Venmo info if anyone wants to leave a tip for watching. Um, tips are only used for more product uh, supplies. They do get very expensive, so... I typically don't like to ask for that, um, but um, I have noticed that a lot of other artists do that, and I didn't even know that was a thing to do. So I thought, okay, well, I'll, I'll try it. We'll see. <laughs> so if you happen to like what you're seeing, um, it's Flowing with Amy on Venmo, um, and enjoy. We'll see you in a few moments. Firefly, how short is life? I dreamt we had more than twenty. I have seen this before, and I have lived more than plenty.
check out these flowers and see how they turned out. Now it's been 24 hours. I did do it back because they were super thin. Oh wow, that looks totally different. Holy cow. Definitely, I mean, doesn't really look like a flower. That's very strange. Almost looks like I put way too much white in, but look at that. That is weird. Okay, let's see what the other ones turned out to be. Oh, exactly the same. That is weird. Look at that. Huh. Very interesting. I never expect that result. Let's see what, if these came out the same because these are in a different type of mold. No, it's what? Well, it's the same. Well, they it almost looks like um like mosaic, mosaic, mosaic tiles what it looks like, doesn't it? Huh. It looks like mosaic tiles. So I definitely need to use less white. Um, I mean, I could definitely, you know, sell these. Um, they, I mean, they're definitely fine the way they are. It just depends on what style you like. But it's very different. Hmm. Huh. Very interesting. Well, definitely could use a little trim. Huh, poured these this morning. It's been well over eight hours and it's still a little bit on the soft side. So I have to let these cure just a little bit longer before I can actually trim the sides. They're still too soft. But that is interesting. Hmm. It's not at all what I thought it would be. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Definitely looks like individual tiles, doesn't it? Especially this one. And that one, that's, it's very interesting. And it's interesting how these molds poured exactly the same, but the yellow is more over here than it is over there. So let me know what you think. That's them up close. Very different. Fascinating. And isn't it interesting how the dark lines in between? It's just very interesting. Wow. So there you go. There you have it. Let me know what you think.